Today we will learn more about factors of multiplication. People from Champapur are making plans to go on a picnic. They have to arrange for some buses for the picnic. The seating should be such that the number of people sitting in every row is equal. The first bus operators sent a bus in which only one person can sit in a row and there are six such rows can people sit in a bus like this to find the answer to this question we will need to find the factors of six do you want to learn an easy method to find factors it is very simple we need to identify the number tables in which the number 6 appears. Come, let's start with the table of 1. Does number 6 appear in the table of 1? Yes, 6 multiplied by 1 is 6. Therefore, 6 people can sit in this bus in 6 rows with 1 person sitting in each row. So, children, can you find out more such buses where six people can sit? But remember that the number of people in each row should be equal. Let's find all the factors of six and solve this puzzle. Does the number six appear in the table of two? Yes, three multiplied by two is six. Therefore, 2 is the factor of 6. So, if 2 people sit in each of 3 rows, how many people would be able to sit? 6. Now, let's look at the table of 3. Does the number 6 appear in the table of 3? 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. Therefore, 3 is the factor of 6. So, if three people sit in each of two rows, how many people in total would be sitting on the bus? Six. Now, let's check the table of four. Does the number six appear in table of four? No. Therefore, four is not the factor of number six. In other words, if in a bus, four people sit in each row, then six people will be able to sit in two rows. But the number of people in each row will not be equal. Similarly, if we look at the table of five, then we will find that five is also not a factor of number six. So a bus in which five people sit in each row will not be of any use to the villagers. Now, let's look at the table of 6. Does the number 6 appear in the table of 6? Yes, 1 multiplied with 6 is 6. Therefore, 6 is also the factor of number 6. So, one line and 6 people in each line is a good option. Today we saw that 1, 2, 3 and 6 are the factors of the number 6 and 4 and 5 are not factors of 6. So you see, by finding all the factors of 6, we help the villagers. Children, we can find the factors of any number by using the multiplication table. Now, why don't you try to play this game of finding factors of number 8 with your friends? So children, in this lesson, we learned a unique method of finding factors of any number. In the next chapter, we will learn different ways to use these factors.